Good morning, everyone. Again. So this morning I was reminded of one of the intentions that I had um, in setting up this morning movement. And to be honest, I haven't really thought about it for quite a number of weeks. But it wasn't just to kind of have a good routine for me and do morning movement and be connected with Bosmer and be connected with all of you. It was also the power of intention, of group intention, for sending out a vibration and a shift in energy for the space around us and for the global intention um, to help with all the different events. I mean, initially it was coronavirus and the, the fear that a lot of people were experiencing. And obviously now that's shifted slightly, a lot of countries are out of that. Our country is maybe not out of that yet. But obviously the, the events have changed. But the fear is still there. And for me, waking up this morning was around remembering the power of what we do here in being connected with each other and connected in movement and that movement being imagined and connected with the space around us and the image of all of us standing on our little spaces around the earth all of us being aware of this rising from underneath bringing it to the light and connecting with the heavens. One interpretation of this movement, the opening exercise. So for our session today, we've got just less than 15 minutes. I'd really like that to be available as an intention for anyone to pick up on. But what we do is really connecting with the global space around us, not just in our homes or in our gardens, but the connectivity between all of us and the kind of matrix that that creates around the world. And bringing that love and warmth and space and imagination for things to be different, to imagine space differently than what we're used to or taught. So I invite you to join me in that because that's very much where my thoughts are today. And we'll do two curl downs. with the opening exercise. Remembering the levity streaming up the front of the body and gravity keeping us balanced and grounded down our backs.
And one more curl down with the opening exercise. And at the top here, we'll go straight into the domes. The domes. And no doubt, like many of you, the other awareness I have is um, from Stefan's lecture uh, on Friday, that the bones and muscles are drawn out of us and that they are actually, their wish, the muscles especially, is to be completely relaxed. And it's only when they come into contact with the nerves that they start to contract. So in our movement today, or in Bosma in general, the aim has often been to be so relaxed that the movement is almost feeling like it's effortless. But this picture of elongating, and that they're drawn out from us, bringing that relaxation. And I don't know about you, but I've been thinking about that all weekend. And it's made quite a big difference to, uh, to my back and to my movement in general. Not trying to do anything, but simply allowing it to be done. One more domes. and the four elements.
cima, ó. Last two, really connecting in with the four elements and the global picture that that can bring. And the idea of relaxing, which for me is a very important practice because I may have bitten off more than I can chew with this exercise. But relaxation is key. It does feel very good though, even if it might be in my mind challenging my perception of what I'm capable of. And finishing the four elements there, we have a little bit of time. So I'd like to do the walk, which is the beginning of the four elements and the end of the fall to the point. Uh, I think some people call this walking in the horizontal. I, uh, I, I knew it as the horizontal walk, which is possibly a bit confusing. But we'll just do one length of this in whichever space you have. Again, something comes up from below. We have time and space to look at it and create our space within it and take our step. We could say life happens, we view it, we observe, we set our intention, create space and take a step. Two more steps. And we'll close with the cross. I am drawn toward my future. I give thanks and appreciate my past. I look to my destiny and manifest this here on earth. In partnership with Mother Earth, I bring this to the present moment. I gift myself to the world and stand in my truth. I am drawn toward my future. I give thanks to all those who have gone before. I ask for inspiration from above and bring this here on earth. I draw strength from Mother Earth and am in this present moment, gifting myself to the world, standing in my truth.
Cool. Thank you very much, everyone. Really nice to be moving together with you again. And uh, I'm somewhat impressed at how much I was able to do, actually. It's quite nice. Uh, relaxation is key, right? Um, so for those that have to go, I wish you an absolutely wonderful day and a wonderful week. Um, loads of love and wonderful to see you again. And for those that are able to stay, we have Susan. And she'll be leading us for about half an hour. And uh, we'll see what she's got for us today. So lots of love. Have a wonderful day. I'll finish the recording. Bye.